Hello guys, welcome back to ingvid.com, the place to be on the internet to learn your English. Today we're looking at fruit idioms. They're a useful way of describing various situations that happen in life, mainly in a social context, okay? So this is good if you're going to be uh, spending some time in an English-speaking country and you want to drop in a really cool phrase here. So it's like, hey. I'm really cool because I can use my fruit idioms. Okay, so I'm just going to be telling a story about my mate Dan, he's a really good friend of mine, um, using these different fruit idioms and I want you to be able to use them too by the end of the lesson. You've got 10 minutes to master it. Right, maybe less. Okay, so fruit idioms. My mate Dan, he's had a bad time recently, so he's taken to be He's taken to become a couch potato. He started becoming a couch potato. Now, a couch is something you lie on. It's like a sofa, okay? It's like a sofa. And it's a potato. It's, it's, it's not a very glamorous um, vegetable, is it? Um, I don't know if you know the football player Wayne Rooney, but we sometimes call him potato head. Yeah, it's not very kind of... It's not, it's not like an exotic pineapple, is it? It's like... Potato, yeah, so a sofa potato. Um, I don't have a brown pen, sorry. Um, so if you're a potato lying on a sofa, you're not going to get the girls, really, and you're not going to have much fun because you're sort of lying there watching the football, yeah? So a couch potato is a lazy person who watches a lot of television, lying down. Yeah, that's my fruit. Pretty good, huh? So... Dan, he's lying, he's, he, he, he's behaving as a couch potato. So what do I need to do? Well, I need to dangle a carrot. I need to invite him to enter and participate in life. Participate, to take part in. So I dangle, I say, Dan, come and have some beer. Dan, we're going surfing. Dan, I'll give you some money, come with me. Okay, so I... To dangle a carrot, it's like I imagine that Dan is um, maybe a, a goat. I imagine he's an animal that wants to eat a carrot. So if I offer my animal a carrot, he's going to follow my carrot. So I've, I've drawn some money. If I'm, if I'm offering him some money, maybe he comes towards me. Dangle a carrot. It's like to kind of to offer a reward maybe. Offer reward. Now, Dan really liked the carrot that I dangled. And so we went to a party and we went bananas. Yeah, went past tense of go. Um, so we went bananas. We had a really good party. Yeah, yeah. The, this is me and this is Dan. He's saying, yeah, I'm having a good time. Okay, and then he was full of beans. Yeah, he's a happy chap. He's full of energy. The opposite of couch potato. He's full of beans. He's ready to play sports. He's ready to do anything. Okay, Rah! full, complete, full of beans. Imagine little beans of energy. Unfortunately, a bad person came along. And he, he was, me and Dan both thought that he was a bad, bad apple, okay? A bad apple is, is not a nice person. A uh, little bit, ooh, bad apple, yeah? It's like, ooh, stay away, okay? And he was rotten. So if I'm eating an apple and it's, it's kind of a bit mushy, it's, it's not very nice. And it's, it's got like insects in it, okay? It, it's rotten, okay? It's an old apple that's, it's no longer any good, okay? It's rotten. This is the core in here. So if it's rotten, it's not just this bit that's rotten, it's all the way to the core, all the way in. So all of it is bad. All of this person is bad. He's rotten all the way through him, okay? Bad person. So we don't like this bad person. So... What we do is we, um, we upset the apple cart a little bit. Now, upsetting the apple cart. This is a phrase from uh, quite a long time ago. 
Um, uh, probably a hundred years ago in the market, uh, especially in Fulham, North End Road, good place to go and check out if you're visiting London. You'd have these market people and they'd be pushing their carts of apples and saying, pound for a bag, pound for a bag, come and buy more lovely apples. Okay, in, in a slightly more authentic accent perhaps. Um, so if I, if I pissed them off, I would upset the apple cart because they're, 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 it's like a shopping trolley, a cart, and it's fallen over. So they're like, that's my in cart, that is, yeah? So they're really annoyed because I've upset it. So this man here, he's rotten to the core, so I upset his apple cart, and I tell him to go away, okay? So that person's gone away, I've upset them, I've upset the apple cart. And I say to Dan, 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 come on, mate. We need to cherry pick our friends. Cherry pick. So we're looking at our fruit. A pick is when I select, okay? I choose, I choose, mmm, that's a nice cherry. It's not rotten. I'll pick that one. If I cherry pick, yeah, it's like when you're playing football and it's like, you, you can be on my team, okay? We need to choose our friends. And uh, not only did we choose nice friends, okay, but we actually got quite a nice girl who came along to join our party as we were going bananas. And she was a real peach, means uh, quite beautiful. And um, she soon became the apple of uh, his eye, okay? So personal pronoun, my, his, her, yeah? In this case, it's his. The apple of his eye. So we're not talking about um, a bad apple. We're talking about a really nice, tasty apple. Okay, and Dan really likes eating this apple. It's like, ah, oh, apple, yeah? So the apple of his eye, it's his imagination. He's thinking apple, 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 and it's this, this peach, that this girl that Dan likes. So I told Dan, it's okay, Dan, you can do it. You just need to act, you just need to behave, you just need to be as cool as a cucumber. Okay, so cool as a cucumber, that's a simile, yeah? Sorry, not a very good S, there we are. Simile, cool as a cucumber, because it uses that as. I want him to be as calm as cool, as refreshing as the cucumber. The cucumber just sits there and gets eaten. Dan just needs to be cool, okay? He cannot be in a pickle. He can't be, oh, 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 I don't know what to do, oh. okay? This is a pickle, okay? Pickle, it's like a spicy food, okay? If I'm, if I'm having an Indian curry, I might add some pickle to it. Okay, and then it's yeah. So Dan, no, I don't want you in a pickle. I want you cool as a cucumber. Well done. You've worked hard today. I want you to test your knowledge now by going to ingvid.com and having a go at doing the quiz on this lesson. Um, hopefully, it will help you to remember the correct use of these uh, great phrases. I don't want you being couch potatoes. I'm dangling a little carrot here saying, learn good English, learn good English. It will take you places, it will help your future. Um, and I want you to be full of beans when you are learning English with me, okay? I want you to have lots of energy. And um, yeah, obviously cherry pick the phrases you think are going to be most useful to you. And um, maybe you'll find the apple of your eye, okay? Do feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks and thank you for joining me.